Welcome back to The Slice of Life, episode 11. This week, we are taking you on a tour. Some friends of ours stopped in town. Nick Maciosi, a great customer of ours, has released his next book. I think book 18, 19, something like that. You're gonna take a look at the book signing with us. Our friends from America's Best Restaurants came into town and stopped by our restaurant to check us out. And we took our food truck out for the first ever stop. We're gonna take you along the journey with us. So we're here with Nick. The Hot Ice Cream Empire is his newest book, book 18. Nick, what inspired this book? The Reese's Molten Skillet dessert here in Little Italy, which is wonderfully sinful and so delicious you want two of them instead of one. <laughs> so Nick, what can readers expect if they pick this copy up on Amazon? What can they expect to read in this book, their 18th book that you've released? There's uh, five sections in the book and uh, I cover family, relationships, and a few risque poems I threw in just for the pepper it up a little bit. But uh, I noticed one woman came by and was looking at the book and fanning herself, so I figure I'm successful. <laughs> so Nick, this is your first book. Yes. When did this puppy come out? 91, and it was nominated for Pulitzer. That's a pretty big deal, right? Yeah, it's a big deal, big. $15,000 worth of big. Yes, I'm not the current, but the book before the current book, City of Hammers, is now nominated for Pulitzer, and I won't know the result of that competition till May. So if you win it, you get 15 grand, 15 yeah. Gs. Yeah. How many hot honey pizzas have you calculated that will purchase you in this process? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many hot honey pizzas that is? Oh my Lord, I don't know. 7,000? 7,000, <laughs> yeah. About 7,000 hot honey pizzas. Yeah. About 7,000. Well, uh, another successful book signing here at Literally. We're so grateful to have you. You're a great customer of ours. We greatly appreciate uh, all the business you bring and always bringing Henry in for lunch all the time. <laughs> and I appreciate you, Avery, because you've got a successful business going on here and it's due to your hard work. I mean, I've never seen a place run so smoothly, ever. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, 18th book's out. The Hot Ice Cream Empire. You gotta check it out, it's on Amazon. What did this go for on Amazon? 15. 15 Smackaroos, pick it up on Amazon. It's his newest release, inspired by us here at Literally. We're so grateful to have Nick, he's a great customer of ours. He's in here all the time. You stop by pretty much three times a week, maybe it's random, but anywhere between 1.30 to 33 o'clock, you're gonna catch this guy here smacking on a hot honey pizza. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, Matt Plapp, CEO of America's Best Restaurants in town, they came today to film a little fake segment in our restaurant. Matt, tell us what uh, you guys are working on today. Appreciate having us first and feeding us amazing food. We were trying to capture some new footage for the America's Best Restaurants Roadshow, and what better place to do it than my favorite pizza and meatball joint, Little Italy Ristorante in Grove Court. Thank you, thank you. Just you hear that, folks, it's his favorite. This guy's traveled the country coast to coast. There's thousands of restaurants, right? Favorite pizza and meatballs. You heard it here. Right here, baby, this is it. But we were looking for a place that would let us have multiple environments. You've got the amazing bar, that live Oak Edge bar is great. You got the patio, you got the inviting dining room, and of course, you got the ice cream. So it hit every box we needed, and then we got to eat as well. Absolutely. You guys are on a road trip across the country. You're visiting all kinds of restaurants down a path. Like, tell our viewers where you guys are going, what you're doing. Something a little crazy. So we had to buy another van for our West Coast office. And we had two options, to ship it or hire somebody to drive the van to Colorado and then take the Colorado van to our Vegas office. And I'm like, hey, why don't we just, we drive the van, three of us, and we'll go from Kentucky, where we're located, all the way to Colorado and then to Vegas. And we'll stop by some restaurants on the way. Let's put the word out, we're looking for places to stop by. Well, 
Two days later, 378 restaurants reached out and said, hey, come by our place, including some people that aren't familiar with the fact that South Carolina is behind us, but we won't pick on them. But no, we're going to stop by, it looks like 30 to 40 restaurants over a four day period and talk about what they're doing in their restaurant that's unique and then also find out what they need help with. Because as we're building our docu-series this year with Heroes of Hospitality, we want to find out what restaurants are struggling with from a standpoint of marketing, advertising, community involvement. So it's a good way to deliver the van to the West Coast and then eat a bunch of good food and then talk to great owners like yourself. Nice. Well, I know I'm so excited to hear those stories of the operators that you visit across the country and kind of what they're working on. Because one of the, my favorite things about this industry is you're able to learn from other operators and take pieces of things that they do really, really well and implement it into our place. So I'm excited to check out your guys' journey as you go do that. Well, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of footage coming in about 40 days. People want to check you out. Where, where can they find you? MattPlapp.com, but also you can check out on Spotify or where you list the podcast, Restaurant Marketing Secrets. Hey, thanks for stopping out today. We appreciate you guys coming out and filming that with us, and uh, see you soon. Well, you will see me soon. This is an exciting day for us. It is our first ever event with the food truck. We are out at the Blue Rooster in Lithopolis. It is a open house wedding invitational for new brides and grooms. We're looking to get married. We're here with our truck, setting it up, serving some great food as samples to be a part of their special event. We've got our tent set up. We've got our truck set up for the first ever time. We're giving out some samples of fettuccine al forno, which is our signature dish. And uh, we're really excited. We've got Tiffany, our catering manager out here. We've got Brack, a team member with us. And uh, we're serving up some guests and we're so excited to be a part of this uh, first inaugural event for the food truck. 